going on guys Sean Dong coming back with a video here we have um, <clears throat> Ben Pfizer uh, senior in high school over in Kentucky um, they're on the hammer uh, his father sent over two videos um, a competition throw with three turns and then this training throw with four turns and I decided that the four turn would probably be the better thing to analyze because I imagine that's what he's working on now making that transition to four turns so I think that's probably uh, the best thing to analyze seeing as it's most recent and also probably the most helpful moving forward so let's take a look <clears throat> okay so yeah pretty solid decent patience uh, left side is pretty stable uh, one more time Just a little impatient after that first catch, but still long and relaxed. So let's take a deeper look at this video. Um, so off the bat, your lines, I mean, there's really nothing terrible with your lines. It's just your head position that um, I think contributes to some problems later in the throw. As you can see, your eyes are always kind of constantly looking back at zero, maybe a little bit uh, just to the right of zero from the thrower's perspective. Um, and I think that leads to kind of this head leading the throw a little bit. Um, your hands drop a little bit low there uh, to maybe keep your hands up and out a little bit more, but hey, you know, to each their own. Um, shifting over to the right when the ball's on the left, that's good. Turning the shoulders back super well, you're loaded up on that right side. Um, you're gonna yeah you transfer back over to this left side pretty well you're in the center like through here the entry looks pretty pretty neat nice and connected arms getting out extended you can see you're, you're, you're sinking back to 180 setting up direction you got that toe turn going so entry is pretty good but you can see your head is just peaking just the tiniest bit just the tiniest bit coming through zero Head is just a little bit ahead. Shoulders, pretty nice. Left shoulder a little bit down. Shoulders level, hips level, turning with the hammer for the most part. But you see that head, like I said, just leads the ball just a little bit. But outside of that, this entry is pretty, uh, pretty nice. I like it. Smooth. You rise up just a little bit in single support, but not a huge deal. Shoulders nice and relaxed. See, yeah, so this is where... Like I said, you rise up a little bit as the ball goes left, but then as the ball goes towards the sector, you rise up a little bit more. And you can see this left leg extending just a little bit, and you get just a little bit tall on that left leg. So I'd say keep that left knee down, left leg down. Um, you want to be a little bit heavier on this right foot. Not much, but a little bit. Um, because, I will explain later on, um, that being said, you do catch with the ball in the direction of the sector very well. Shoulder's pretty level, right hip underneath you, that's dope, that's great. And then you come through and get that left heel down super early. And see, so this is where, so we have, we got two things going on here. Um, got that head leading, peaking a little bit, and then you got this left leg that's straightened out a little bit. And to be fair, I think they kind of go hand in hand, to, to an extent. Um, so back to the head problem this is where like i said you can really see that head leading pulling if you want peeking around the corner whatever you want um i don't think that's the most optimal thing you see he's got really good tension you can see this right leg working with the hammer very well but then it's uh it's not the best thing because this left shoulder, I mean, it's very out over this left heel, which is great, but then it stays kind of over there. He's very upright here, a little bit too in the center, which I know sounds contradictory because I know you want to be in the center of the hammer throw. But that being said, I think he's missing out on some distance um, if he were to kind of offset and be a little bit more off balance to his right side, um, which I know sounds a little crazy. But... This really strong left side here is partly because of this head, the shoulder. I mean, it's a 12-pound ball. It's pretty easy to really crank on it. Um, that being said, like, this head does lead, but he is very 
patient and very stable with the ball, which is great. Like he's still turning with the hammer. He's just got this kind of leftward sort of tilt down into the throw. Lower body turn together. This is really nice. But then, like I said, he's too upright here. Uh, his, his shoulders are directly over his hips at the end of double support, when ideally, in my mind, you'd want the shoulders a little bit back behind the hips, or shoulders where they are, hips a little bit more forwards. What that does is, like I said, it'll, it'll make you off balance to the hammer thrower's right side, to the thrower's right side. Um, so you're kind of falling away from the hammer, and that creates a torque as you go through single support. Um, gravity pulls on you, and since you're holding on to the ball, gravity is also pulling on the ball in single support, which means it's going to accelerate in single support. Um, and so that's, like I said, that's kind of the big thing I think he's missing out on. Uh, if he could figure that out, figure out how to lean back a little bit against the hammer as the hammer goes left, and you kind of almost fall, honestly, into the next turn, but then you catch yourself. It's like a weird balancing act. You're playing tug of war with the hammer. And you don't want to win, but you don't want the hammer to win. In this situation, the hammer's winning just slightly, just slightly. Um, so if you could get his hips a little bit more forward, shoulders a little bit more back, fall into the next turn, find that balance, he's going to be able to add probably a good 15, 20 feet to his throw, I bet, if he can figure it out. Of course, it is kind of a more um, sort of advanced thing, and it's a, it's a weird thing to think about because it's kind of, I think, counterintuitive to how a lot of us are taught how to throw a hammer. Um, but the biomechanics, uh, do not lie. Um, yeah, so like I said, you can see here, this left, left, left side is very stable, almost too stable. You need this left shoulder to go back more as the hammer goes left. Um, so chill that head out a little bit and then don't be afraid to get your right hip into a little bit more and get lean back against the hammer a little bit more. The single sport movement is pretty good, but then, so this is what I'm talking about. You see his body right here. You're going to see it shift over this left foot more uh, towards the end of single support, which is what happens right there. He does a good job of getting that right hip underneath him. That's really good. Shoulders level, head back against the hammer. Like this catch position is pretty good. It's just this sort of all of this body shifting around that left side is not ideal. It's not the most efficient but he is making very good work of it, like I said. So you can see, and this is where a little bit of the impatience with that head gets him again. His left heel comes down great, but then you can see he's already kind of leading with the head, leading with that shoulder. Um, I wouldn't call this dragging the hammer. It is pulling the hammer, which is not a bad thing if you time it correctly, which he seems to do a pretty good job of. But... Um, and he's very patient, which is good. That's the difference between dragging and pulling. Is dragging is pulling and being impatient. Pulling is pulling and being patient and finding that timing. And I can see as he comes through zero, he's he's very patient with the lower body and very connected. Um, the one thing that I would say, like I said, that head kind of leads and this left shoulder is kind of down. I would like to see that left shoulder up a little bit more, level shoulders. Um, I think that would even out his orbit a little bit and perhaps make things a little bit easier because this left shoulder going down and back like that is takes a lot of work and you can get away with it with a 12 pound but if you uh, and i'm assuming this is a 12 pound just because he's in high school so pardon me if i'm wrong but if he's a 56 meter hammer thrower throwing the 16 in college or in high school that's phenomenal if you ask me um but assuming it's a 12 pound as he moves up to heavier weights whether it be the 6k or mostly the 16, 18, 20 when he gets into college. Um, this is might come back to bite him a little bit. I don't know, though. Maybe he's a big, strong kid. You know, maybe I'm just, uh, you know, jumping the gun a little bit. But either way, I'd like to see that left shoulder up a little bit more. His patience is good. Excellent. Excellent double support. Um, but then, yeah, I imagine you're probably going to see this body, yep, kind of, like I said, shift over that left side again. He's a little upright here in the legs. You can see his left leg a little straight, but it's not bad because his right leg is super tight over that calf. That's that's great. Level shoulders here. Very tight single support movement. That's that's good. And then you can just see, but you can see he's just barely on that left toe. Like I said, a little bit high in this left leg. He could be a little bit deeper in the legs. Um, great catch position, hips under, 
shoulders nice and relaxed and out, ball in the direction of the sector, head leaning back against it. This is great. And then he kind of settles down a little bit. And then he's very strong head counter. Um, and then, so this is where, like I said, that straight left leg is kind of coming back to bite him. And then um, also not having enough weight on that right leg uh, earlier on in the throw. So the left heel comes down. You can see that left shoulder go a little bit early. Left shoulder down a little bit. Right leg turning well. But then you see through double support, as the ball picks up force, um, there's going to be less and less counter away from the ball as it goes left. So you can see he's in the center now. And then he gets pulled around the left a little bit more dramatically. There's less kind of a offset of weight. Like I said, he needs to have his shoulders back a little bit more, uh, be a little bit heavier on this right foot. You need just a little bit more weight on the right foot. You could say 60% 60 of the weight on the right foot, 40% of the weight on the left foot. General guideline doesn't have to be that way exactly, but I'd say it's about 50-50 here, maybe a little bit too much on the left. Um, and he just doesn't quite get his hips up into the throw like he needs to. And then, yeah, there's just there's just not much tension, um, you know, countering the force of the hammer in this final double support. Because you can see he catches a little bit later here, whereas in like the previous turn, catches a little bit more in the direction of the sector, loses a little bit of tension here, gets pulled around a little bit, right leg. I mean, the double or single support movement is still very tight, but you can see he's a little bit over this left foot more than he needs to be. Hands are perhaps a little bit high. You can see this butt kicking. Not a bad, th not a bad thing, but then you can see. So this is it's this very fine movement here, if you watch the body. Like I said, very over this left side, almost a little bit too much. Um, but yeah, so he catches a little bit late, long and relaxed against the ball, which is great, but just a little bit too much on that left side. And then he comes through the finish pretty well. And you can see he doesn't quite get the extension that he needs. His hips are up, but he should be able to hold it for another frame or two, I'd say. And then you can see right here, he doesn't quite have that tension to really get the hips up into the throw. As you see this left foot start pulling back before he's fully extended. And you can see, once again, hips a little bit under you rather than forwards into the throw. So, yeah, I mean, you do a lot of good things, 100%. Good patience, good relaxation. I just overall calm that head down a little bit. Um, and then keep that left shoulder up a little bit more. And then, uh, like I said, try to just displace a little bit more into single support. Um, and then you'd be on your way. Like I said, even an entry. Eh, not bad. But you could just be back on this uh, right side just a little bit more, especially right here. you got to kind of get back to that right side, whereas you're just over the left side too much. So, good patience though, like I said, very nice single support movement, pretty good counter, relaxation, good feeling it looks like, just got to be a little deeper in the legs too. So, lots of little things you can work on, uh, Ben and Father, um, but that being said, things are pretty solid. Um, I wish I was looking like this, throwing hammer in high school. I wasn't throwing hammer in high school, but I wish I had that sort of foundational sort of, uh, you know. Technical foundation, if you will. All right. Well, yeah, Ben and Father, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm happy to help. If anybody else out there would like technical analysis, DM me on Instagram, at SDThrows, and we can get to work. All right. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace out.